Section 4. DevOps to simplify migration. In this section, we're going to take a look at the principles, tools, and some examples of DevOps, the motivations and the goals of DevOps, and why DevOps has become so important recently. Let's now start with introduction to DevOps. In this video, we're going to take a look at understanding what's the DevOps approach, understanding the DevOps goals, why it's needed for an effective migration, and what are the tools. First of all, let's start from the definition. Maybe it's not the most authoritative one, but I think it's the simplest one, and it's from Wikipedia. And it says that DevOps is a set of practices that combine software development, Dev, and information technology operations, Ops, which aims to shorten the system development life cycle and provide continuous delivery with high software quality. Mind that it's a fairly recent definition, date back in late 2000s. Let's now analyze the keywords. DevOps is a set of practices, so it's no more than practices. They will tell you what to do, but not exactly how to do it. They are like guides that help you with the software development and with operations. Second keyword is combines. In fact, DevOps is a combination of two words, Dev and Ops. And DevOps is literally the practices of combining them. In order to have a shortened system developer life cycle, provide continuous delivery with high software quality. Let's now take a look at the goals. The goals are in the last phrase of the definition. So the DevOps aims to short the system development life cycle, provide continuous delivery with high software quality. That's basically three goals in one practice. All these three goals are very connected to the product and the projects, and ultimately on the cost, time delivery, maintenance, future updates and upgrades. Also, they are very effective goals, and that's for every company. Let's now take a look at the system development lifecycle for DevOps. Let's start, for example, from the planning phase. Planning, you're planning what to do next, which feature to implement, what product to implement, which project to start off. Then you start creating, you verify what you've done during the creation, and then you package, you bundle up your code, your system, your infrastructure. And that's the development phase. Now starts the operational phase. With the package, you start releasing the package into a production environment. You configure it in order to have the latest master into uh, the live environment. And then, of course, you always need to monitor what's going on in your life system. From those readings, you can plan back what to do next, what's the next feature, what are the bugs fixed to, to add, and so on. Mind that there is no explicit connection between Agile and DevOps, and they are not mentioned in the Agile manifest of DevOps. An IT team can implement actually both. While Agile improves the communication team product, the DevOps approach improves the closure between the software development and the infrastructure flow deployment. Who's actually doing DevOps? Recently, a new roles became very popular, and that's the DevOps engineer. And that's basically the engineer who applies those practices into uh, companies. And many companies are starting hiring them. If you check the on hiring websites, you will find that DevOps are very requested feature just because they make the development and the operational smoothness of a company faster and more effective. What about the tools? Well, there are actually a lot of tools being used here. Some are connected to communication, some are connected to traceability, some are connected to just deployment, operational, continuous integration, building, planning, continuous feedback, and so on. And you have also a lot of choices. There is no just one software for each phase here, but you actually have a huge variety of software you can use for each phase. Important thing to think about is that there is no just one solution that allows you to do DevOps end-to-end, -end, but it's actually a composition of multiple technologies that allow you and help you during these practices.